Hi guys, this is Simeon. Today I want to finish this window and put the glass in. I want to teach you guys how to do it, or how I do it at least. And uh, the things that are important when doing this, this could enable you to build your own windows, or if you have old windows like that, um, to change the glass um, for yourself. But it's really helpful when you build stables, uh, not to have to buy the windows, but be able to do this. Okay, you guys see here the glass that I cut. I'm gonna put that aside. And basically, um, you have this wood here. Um, I cleanse it all the way, all the old glass, all the old nails, and um, all this old, um, I guess, I, I asked you guys what it's called, and some of you guys said putty, some um, kind of glass or glazing compound or something like that. Anyways, I removed all the old stuff, but before, you do anything here what you want to do is we want to take some oil and um, put it on here uh, this is linseed oil but I mixed it with turpentine because um, that really helps you helps it to um, go into the wood quicker and suck it up more this is linseed oil putty so so basically um, it's a very good kind I don't like these new plastic kind of things uh, this is the original one and um, what I want to do with is I want to put this linseed oil and turpentine mixture on here um, so that this wood is not completely dry because what eventually will happen is that it will suck out um, the oil out of this this will dry out so the most important thing with all of this is that this stays moist that this doesn't dry out So ideally you would want to have this dry now a bit and redo it one more time obviously depending on um, how dry the wood is, how old it is and all of that. But um, in this case here it's not so super important for me because this is going to be the inside of a window. Um, it's just this double frame that we put in winter time. But we're going to let it dry a little bit. Okay, so we have this. Uh, putty here. Gonna take it out, and it's quite messy. But what you want to do is you will really want to massage it and get it really smooth and soft. That's really the key here. Also, if it's um, if it is um, cold, you want to get it a little bit warmer and not too much it needs to have just the right um, feel for this to work the right way now this is a very cheap tool to apply this with um, usually I would want to have um, a nicer more professional one when I used to work with this um, I had a much better one this is the one we have because we don't do this very often so when this is nice and smooth it should be like this don't want it to be too dry and stuff. The very first thing we want to do now is to put a layer of putty on the bottom here where we will um, push the glass into. So you can take a little bit of that stuff on your knife and then just pull it like this. And if you do it the wrong way like you saw and this is because I'm not used to this knife this usually becomes your third hand or your extended hand um, everybody likes a different kind of knife but you go like this and and basically that's how you cover the bottom here Okay, so we have this layer here everywhere. Gonna take this glass and let it now go into this and slowly push it into this. You gotta make sure that it doesn't get stuck on any wood. 
then slowly push it on it. Now as you can see here the um, putty is squeezing out of here. This is how it's supposed to be um, so that um, you really know that it's everywhere under the glass. As the next thing we have um, this kind of special nail thing. You can get these in here in Sweden um, pretty much at any glazing shop or whatever you call that, people that work with glass. Then you usually have a special hammer which I don't have right now. I'm just gonna use this hammer right now. And then you can bend always one section at a time. So if you if you look at he look at it here, um, this is how the nails are and you can always bend over one section. So we're gonna take it here and then you can lay it carefully on the glass there and hit it in. And of course you need to hit it in far enough so it's not gonna be visible from the other side. There you go. Break it off. Okay, so it's all nailed on here and now the first thing you want to do is you want to lift it up and then you see um, the putty here. You want to go here scrape it off like this because when you're gonna put it on from the top you will need to see this border here now if you see anywhere um, where there is a little gap or something where there wasn't enough now is your chance to um, apply some of this stuff here in fact you could kind of trick around a little bit and change the uh, if the wood is broken, you could easily um, put some of this stuff in there and paint over it later. And it's going to be an easy fix for a little beauty damage, so to speak. Then we turn it around again. And now is where we are going to apply this stuff. Now there's something really important to know here. And that is that we don't want to be even with this border we don't want to be outside of it we want to be on the inside of it go like this because we need to paint over the putty so that it will be sealed that it won't dry out meaning that that what we want to paint is going to be even with this border here on the outside This is how I apply it. So this like this it's applied and then you then you just go like this. There you go and then you want to afterwards go over it with your finger. Now you can also go over it one more time. This frame here is really broken, so it kind of makes it a bit uneven. If you go over it again, and obviously with two hands you have a nicer grip. Now here you can see really well that you can look through the glass and still see the border here from underneath. Because you want to paint over this after. Corners are always a little bit tricky. 
Now, this is quite oily, quite greasy. So you wonder how can I get this window clean afterwards and what you do is you use chalk. Chalk and a brush and you go over it and that cleans this off fairly well. Then afterwards you can take an old towel or a rag and go over it. And that's how you can get these windows fairly clean. So I will let this dry for about 24 hours before I would apply any paint to it. But what's important is that you paint on the glass and completely seal this putty so it won't dry out. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little demonstration of how to fix this window. Um, it's quite fun to actually be able to renovate your own windows or build them. Even though when we build windows most of the time um, they're a bit different with uh, modern glasses. But like I said, for stable or something this could still be uh, what you want to use. So thanks for watching today guys. I see you in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>